What's up guys, everything Apple Pro here, and Apple has just released iOS 8.2. Well, that's not good enough for them. So they're working on a brand new firmware, iOS 8.3, and it's already been out for quite some time. Now the newest version is iOS 8.3 Beta 3, and in this video I'm gonna go ahead and do a review of iOS 8.3, everything we know about it, all of the features, how it is to use, how it runs. I mean, how is it, basically? I just wanna tell you guys all about this firmware and what to expect. Now these are all of the iOS iPhone models that will support the iOS 8.3 update from the iPhone 4S. Surprisingly, Apple is not dropping support for it. They're trying to make it as optimized as possible, making it better and better, and I applaud Apple for that all the way up to the iPhone 6 Plus. And for iPads, the iPad 2, all the way up to the newest iPad Air 2, including all of the minis, as well as the iPod Touch 5th generation. Now, just like iOS 8.2, iOS 8.3 doesn't necessarily have any distinguishing features from any previous firmware. Looking at it, you'd be hard pressed to notice anything different. Now, of course, the new Apple Watch does come standard on iOS 8.3, and I just wanna go ahead and show you I am running this brand new firmware right here. So 8.3 Beta 3, includes actually some new changes and I just want to go over all of the new changes in iOS 8.3 in general. So first off in settings if we actually go into the general and then CarPlay settings in here you will notice there is an option to connect wirelessly to your car. Now this is good because all of the new cars with the standard of CarPlay are going to be accepting this and it's good to have a wireless option. Not always are you going to be able to connect your iPhone and just keep it there so it is nice to have it be wireless. Besides that there are some new messaging settings so if we go into messaging Messages, the whole grouping is completely different than 8.2 and before and now you have conversation list filtering down here so if I go ahead and enable that I just want to show you guys what it means so inside of messages you now have two tabs right here so for one you have all of your contacts and SMS messages and then filtered pretty much filters people you don't know junk text messages really cool that this is an option it looks a lot like the mail application but it's certainly a nice feature to have so definitely something that could come in handy in the future and I'm I'm glad Apple's adding it. Now, the one primary change everybody's looking forward to in iOS 8.3 is the new set of emojis. So say I'm messaging someone and I wanna add a new emoji. Not only is there a new selector, you can just swipe through all of the emojis just like this and there's a bunch of new ones. And besides that, something really cool is the ability to change skin tone on certain uh, emojis right here. So let's say this police officer, if you actually change it to a darker skin complexion, it'll say that right there. And it turns to a standard dark one until you actually use it, select a different one. So really cool. You now have an option to do that on many of them, which is certainly a really nice feature. I personally don't use emojis a lot, but for people that do, this is a really nice thing to have. It gives you a lot of options on many different little icons. So certainly a very nice feature found in iOS 8.3. Now here's a change in the latest version of iOS 8.3 that I think everybody can appreciate. This is something that personally bugged me so much on iOS 8 and finally Apple Apple has created a solution. So let's take a look at the navigation bar. Say we're gonna go somewhere and there's a problem on iOS 8 where the space and period button interfere with each other. The space button is super small. As you guys can see right here, on iOS 8.2 it's really small, whereas on 8.3 it's a lot bigger. You're definitely gonna press the period button a lot less in error. So you have a wider space bar, whereas I'd always press space and click on this guy right here. It's really annoying, so I'm glad Apple has taken to that and created a solution in iOS 8.2 where the space button is wider. Now those are some major changes. We didn't see anything like that in iOS 8.2, so finally it's good to see Apple put in some work into new features. I mean, it's good that they focused on stability and performance enhancements with 8.2, but finally we have some nice new features. And besides these visible changes, there are several new Siri languages, including Russian and Dutch, and I think about five other ones roughly. There's a lot of bug fixes and enhancements, so stuff that you can't really notice, but you will experience less crash you know, less errors in the actual firmware. So how is it using iOS 8.3? Well, if you have a newer device, you're less likely to notice any difference. It's only on older devices like the iPhone 4S where you'll notice that things just load a little bit faster. The iOS operating system is certainly more optimized on older devices, so you will notice less lag, less time loading things. And I definitely think iOS 8.3 is a step in the right direction. It's just a firmware that builds off of iOS 8.2, adds to it with several new features, and definitely a lot of stability. 
usability enhancements. I'm really looking forward to this firmware when it is released out in the wild. Now as for release date, we're looking at a late April, early May release date. And that's because iOS 8.2 has just come out. Apple's gonna make a couple little updates to iOS 8.2. Apple's gonna see what there is left to fix. They're gonna try and make iOS 8.2 as good as possible and then release iOS 8.3. So again, late April, early May is a projected release date. Now as for the jailbreak, a lot of people are saying that the Taiji jailbreak team should hold off on an 8.2 jailbreak until 8.3 is out because they just want to be on the newest firmware with a new jailbreak but ultimately it's kind of pointless because iOS 8.4 is already in production, iOS 9 as well. I mean we're always going to be chasing that jailbreak. Why wait? I mean it's a never-ending chase pretty much. So guys that's just about it. Just wanted to let you know what iOS 8.3 was all about. Hopefully in this video I did help you guys understand what this new firmware does, what are the new features, and performance wise definitely good. It is a little bit better, more noticeable on older devices, and I will be doing a full comparison, of course, in the future with the final release. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Enjoy iOS 8.2 and eventually 8.3 when it is out. Peace.